Hi, welcome to Microsoft 365 Talks. So in this video, we're gonna see how to use shared mailbox. And uh, for doing so, we're gonna log into portal.office.com with the administrative account. And we'll go to Microsoft 365 Admin Center. So there are two, uh, so first I'll tell you what is the shared mailbox is. So shared mailbox is very easy to create, which, gonna, uh, which I'm gonna uh, show you today. And then, uh, Shared mailbox is created so that a group of users can uh, monitor and send email from a common email addresses like uh, for example support at office365.com uh, like that. So uh, let's see. So creating a shared mailbox we have two ways. One is to uh, from admin center, Microsoft 365 admin center. We just need to click go to groups and click on shared mailboxes. And you can just uh, click on add a mailbox and then you can uh, go ahead and create a shared mailbox and then other one is by going to the exchange admin center so for going to exchange admin center we need to click on uh, you know this one exchange admin center oh sorry so, so I have already opened the exchange admin center over here so this is a dashboard and we have to go to recipient uh, recipient options uh, where you have you can find the all the uh, mailboxes over here and then go to shared mailbox so first I'll tell you the difference between the shared mailbox and the regular mailbox. So shared mailbox doesn't require a license uh, and uh, you, as you know regular mailbox require a license and uh, yeah but your shared mailbox can store up to 50 GB of data without assigning a license if you, and if you want that it should uh, you know uh, you know to increase the uh, limit then you have to assign a license to a shared mailbox as well. Uh, so 50 GB is a huge amount, uh, huge space. So uh, uh, you don't, uh, yeah. So 50 GB is a huge space. You so maybe not require a license after that. It, it will not increase 50 GB maybe, but yes, of course, if it increases, then you have to sign a license. So that's the main difference between the uh, regular mailbox and the shared mailbox. Now, uh, in the shared mailbox, you need to give users permissions. Or you can say a membership to use the shared mailbox. So there are two types of permission. One is full access, where you can, uh, where the users can behave uh, as the owner of the mailbox, and the other one is send as. So let's just see. Uh, and for creating a shared mailbox, you need to click on add button, and then we're gonna give it a name. Here you can find the domain listed uh, uh, for your tenant. So as of now, I'm having only the temporary domain. So I'll just Select this one and go ahead. And then over here, you need to uh, you need to assign the permissions. As I, as I was saying uh, uh, right now, that we have to assign users permissions as, or you can see a membership for the shared mailbox, so that the users can uh, view the shared mailbox or send as uh, from the shared shared mailbox. So just click on add button and will assign this permissions to myself, and then click on save. So you can see the uh, shared mailbox has been created now. Now I'll just go on the edit button and then let's see what options we have available. So the first one is general formations. So uh, and the second one is mailbox delegation. So the main uh, feature uh, of the shared mailbox, which is mailbox delegation, where uh, so while creating a shared mailbox, you got the options to assign permissions to the users who will be accessing the shared mailbox. But after that, if you want to add some more users to it, you can just go to mailbox delegation and you can, uh, you know, add uh, members to it. So if you want to uh, give the full access permissions, you can just go ahead and, uh, you know, uh, click on add and then you can add the users. And if you also want the user uh, to send as a shared mailbox, then you have to uh, add that user over here and send as uh, delegation. So, if you are giving the full access permission to a user, they'll be access. They can access the mailbox, and they will be having as the full access of the mailbox. But you also need to provide the send as permissions to the user in order to, uh, you know, like if, if the user also needs to send um, send emails from the shared mailbox, you also need to assign this send as permissions to the uh, users. So. Uh, I'll just and then after adding uh, the users you need to save it that's it 
So now uh, we have created a shared mailbox. Now we're gonna see how to uh, you know access the shared mailbox or how to use the shared mailbox because shared mailbox doesn't have a password. So how to use this? So that's why we assign uh, other users uh, uh, the permissions, the mailbox delegation which we seen. So we assign full access and send us permissions to the users so that they can access the mailbox. So just go ahead and click on Outlook. So I'll just open the Outlook on the web. Uh, and we'll show you how to access uh, this uh, shared mailbox from the Outlook on the web app. And also, uh, like, you can also access the shared mailbox from Outlook desktop client as well. So for doing so, we just in, uh, need to click on your profile and then open another mailbox. Over here, we need to enter the uh, shared mailbox. Open. So, uh, so over here, you can see you'll be able to see all uh, like everything about the shared mailbox. You can see all the folders as well. You can see the inbox and send items, everything. So this is how you can access the shared mailbox in Outlook on the web. On Outlook Desktop Client, you just need to uh, go on the file option, and then there's an option of open, uh, open and import. Uh, open uh, option is there on the Outlook desktop client and then you can open uh, another user's mailbox from there. So it's pretty simple. You can just go ahead and do that. Uh, and uh, this was it uh, from uh, like, you know, uh, how to open the sh uh, shared mailbox from the Outlook on the web. Now, how can I send emails from the shared mailbox? So I have also assigned myself as a, uh, you know, like send us permission so that I can send emails from the shared mailbox. So I'll just click on new, click on the three dots and then select show from. So over here you will be able to see the emails. Uh, so this one is my email and this one is the shared mailbox. So you'll be able to see all the emails over here for which you are having the sender's permissions. So uh, maybe the first time you will access the, uh, you know, access the uh, this thing, the from options, you may not, you will not be able to find the, uh, uh, you know, send uh, the other other email address like support. So for the for the first time, what you need to do is you need to click on uh, the email ID over here, and then you have to remove it for the first time. This is, and after that, you have to enter the support this thing, shared mailbox email address, and then I just entered one more email at room which I want to see send the email and then test email from support. So let's see so this is my uh, account and I'm sending as uh, this shared mailbox to this particular user. And I'll just send it. Let's see whether I will receive the message or not. So you can see test email from spot. You can see the timing so we have received the message and you can see the uh, you know uh, this thing so I have sent it from my mailbox but in the from uh, I have entered the shared mailbox email address so uh, you can see over here I have sent the email address to this particular user from the uh, shared mailbox so this is how we can send emails as a shared mailbox yeah so this is how it works and now I'll just show you how to convert a regular mailbox to a shared mailbox. So for doing so, uh, so, so you have, uh, so till this point, I think, I hope uh, shared mailbox idea will be clear. So now let's see how to convert an individual mailbox to a shared mailbox. So I'm just going to users and then active users. So you can see over here the list of uh, users available over here. And I'll just click on one of the users. Now you can you need to go to the mail settings and then over here you, you have the options convert to shared mailbox. So just click on convert to shared mailbox and convert it. So it takes few minutes. So 
the mailbox has been converted and now what we can do is after converting the so as you know shared mailbox doesn't need a license so after converting the individual mailbox to a shared mailbox you can remove the product license from here and save it now let's just go to admin center so you can see over here the regular mailbox was created uh, was converted to a shared mailbox and similarly for assigning uh, permissions or uh, to assign a memberships to the users you just, you just click you need to just click on edit and then mailbox delegation again you have to provide the full access and sign uh, send us permissions to the users who will be accessing or who will be sending the emails as a shared mailbox now if you if you want to convert a shared mailbox to a regular mailbox that option is also possible you just need uh, select you can just you need to just select the shared mailbox and you can see this option convert to regular mailbox click on convert and yes and none of the emails will be lost during this process so uh, this also take few minutes let's see what happens so yeah it's completed now I'll just refresh it and you can see the in the, the mailbox has been uh, like you know uh, shifted to uh, so the mailbox has been converted as regular mailbox so it will be reflecting over, over here in the regular mailbox this one. and now again we need to go to uh, uh, users and then select the user which you have converted to a regular mailbox and then assign the licenses So very simple process. So this is how we can create a shared mailbox. We can convert a shared mailbox to a uh, individual mailbox, or we can convert an individual mailbox to a shared mailbox. So the only difference will be over here is shared mailbox doesn't require a license. So that's it from this session. Thank you so much. Hope you like this video.